in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Second Corinthians 4 Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Or is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt, to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt, to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and longed for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Iodius, and beseech Syntyche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord, and I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which laboured with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow labourers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, 
whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now, at the last, your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding ye have well done, that ye did communicate with my affliction, now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound, I am full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever. James, a servant of God, and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he Psalm 100 Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he, is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 101 Psalm 22 My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me, and from the words of my roaring? O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent, but thou art holy, O oh thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn, they shoot out the... Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Fannin. YouTube viewers, listen... I love listening to CNN and, and 
they just played a interview that Donald Trump had with a guy who I don't like named Dr. Phil. My mom watches the Dr. Phil show all the time. I don't like that show. But anyway, Donald Trump s said, if Jesus came down and counted my votes from California, I would win. Well, now, as you may or may not know, CNN has analysts who analyze what they hear from Trump and others or what they hear on the news under under or about any and every topic you could hear about on the news. Well, YouTube viewers, the guy who the guy who was analyzing what Donald Trump said about Jesus, that guy said his mother thought he was God. Well, hello, the Bible says he he is God and Titus the Bible says he is God, and Titus 1 says God does not lie. Malachi 3 said does, um, I mean, Malachi 3 says God does not change. So even though I do love listening to CNN, I just want to let you know. First, Thessalonians 5 says to pray without ceasing. Matthew 7 says, Ask and you shall receive. And John 15 is where Jesus says, If you keep my commandments, we will be friends one with another. Well, YouTube viewers, if you were reading, if you were reading Matthew 24, what, what, Jesus said what happened before he comes again. He could come any minute. Matthew 24 tells you everything, everything that will happen before Jesus returns. Well, he could return any minute. And because 1 Thessalonians says to pray without ceasing, and, and, John, and John 14 and Matthew 7 both both say asking you shall receive. If you and I do not ask the Lord to make us want to spend more time with him than than watching if we don't ask the Lord to make us love time with him more than listening to the news or watching the news or watching T V or listening to music, we are in disobedience. By the way, if you're wondering why I said listening to the news, here at home I don't have cable so I listen to the news on my Amazon Echo. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat myself one more time, but keep in mind the reason I say listening to the news is I don't have cable. I listen to the news on Alexa. So since that guy said Jesus's mother thought he was God, and since Titus one says the Lord does not lie, and because when. Jesus was baptized. God, God's voice was heard from heaven. And, and, and at that time, God said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. If we do not pray to, to spend more time praying or listening to the Bible than watching TV or listening to the news or watching the news, if we don't pray, if we don't pray to spend more time with God, because of people like that, we are in disobedience. Now, Matthew 22 does say that we should love our neighbors as ourselves. But I just want to encourage you. Since that guy said Jesus' mother thought he was God, when the Bible says God does not lie, and because Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they all call Jesus, the Son of God. We are better off in prayer or reading the Bible if we can avoid, prevent, and discourage interruptions. At the times when we can avoid, prevent, and, and discourage interruptions, we are better off listening to the Bible if you can read. I mean, if you can't read. 
What I mean is, if you are able to read the Bible, you are better off reading the Bible if you can see enough to read it. But if you're like me and if you're visually impaired, you're better off listening to the Bible if you can't read it. Because when you watch TV or listen to the news, or, 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 even, or even when you watch YouTube, TikTok, or anything else, in this day and time, you are more than likely going to hear something bad, bad against the Bible. You are more than likely going to hear someone say something bad against the only true God. You are more than likely going to hear someone say something bad or wrong against, against, against the only true God. So that is why I recommend only when you can be alone, only when you can prevent, avoid, or discourage interruptions, because the people who say that Jesus' mother thought he was God, or because of people who don't think Jesus is God, when you can be alone and prevent, avoid, and discourage interruptions, you and myself both are better off praying to want to read the Bible more than watch the news or listen to the news or watch TV or listen to something. But I only recommend, but I only recommend spending time with God when you can avoid discourage and prevent interruptions. Because James 4 says, if we get close to God, he will get close to us. John 10 says, my sheep hear my voice and 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 another they will not follow. And Romans 10 says, faith comes by hearing, hearing by reading the Bible. Hebrews 11 says, without faith it is impossible to please the Lord. But the Lord is a rewarder, but 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 the Lord is a rewarder to those who diligently seek Him. So I am just emphasizing now, because someone might say that that Jesus is not God. When you can be alone and avoid discourage and prevent interruptions, just let me encourage you. You and myself both are better off reading the Bible if we can read it. Or listening to the Bible if we cannot read it. Because John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, now, if the only God sent his Son to die for us, let that encourage you. If you can, it, if you can be alone, if you can avoid, prevent, and, and, discourage interruptions, why aren't you in God's presence? Huh? Why? But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut to thy door, Pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut to thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut to thy door, Pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But one more thing, even though I don't like the, the Dr. Phil show, just in case he sees this, Dr. Phil, I want you to know, no offense intended, nothing personal. Dr. Phil, I want you to know, no, no offense intended, no offense intended, and nothing personal.